Alright, viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist and welcome back to some more indie horror. My god, I need to switch that off straight away. Assuming I can. Jesus Christ, there we go. <laughs> welcome to Shadow of Pharos, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, when I loaded up the game on Steam, there was no main menu or anything, it just put me straight in here. So it's probably one of those games where there's um, going to be no proper, like, you know, ending... Um, transition back to a main menu or anything like that. I mean, it's probably just going to force quit me straight out of the game. So I'm using my Bandicam screen record for this. So, does that say anything else on there? I can actually read that. I woke up in the middle of the night. For some reason, the alarm was going off. It was cold and the power was out. So I decided to uh, s uh, check the boiler in the basement, see if it was off as well. The house was dark and silent. All I could hear was the rain outside picked up the flashlight in the kitchen, but the batteries had run out. I looked around the house for a bit and found new batteries in the bathroom. With the flashlight, I walked towards the basement door in the living room. Okay, good to see that that's given me some uh, guidance notes here. Looks like it's uh, June 2003. Is that when this is set? I see we've got pills over there by the looks of it. So I don't really know what this game is about. I just noticed this. Is it mirrors there? A lack of vertical sync. Do you see that when I move the camera sort of side to side? Is it meant to be like that? I don't know. So it's a pixely art style as you can see. So it says flashlight in the kitchen, batteries in the bathroom. Oh. Well that's interesting. It's got a quick game option right there. Interesting. Can I do anything else in here? Do I just open the door? I can knock on the bedroom door, apparently. Interesting. Can I not do anything with the wardrobe? Huh. What's that all about? Oh. You turned off the alarm by pressing E. And press tab to close open this menu. <laughs> ah. That's what I needed to do. I needed to pick that up so that the ghosts could open the door for me. Anything down here? That's a weird room, or a weird door, rather. You just padlock the hell out of it. It's got a peephole. Okay. Who are we holding prisoner, and why? What kind of weirdo am I? Am I the psycho? Whoa, hello. <laughs> hey there. Were you there originally? I feel like you weren't. Just saying. Somehow I missed that when I went around the corner. Okay. Is the mannequin going to be uh, coming after me in this one? Who knows? Now, I did notice um, on, well, with this game, uh, there was, oh, Jesus Christ, no, that's a hat stand. <laughs> God, I wonder what that was then. Um, so I did notice with this game that some people have experienced crashes with it, which is also why I'm using uh, screen record rather than game record mode, because methinks uh, I'm going to have to use this mode. So I'm assuming is this kind of going to be like haunted house sort of thing? Flashlight, there it is. Got that. Oh god, that doesn't do much now, does it? Well, it illuminates a bit, which is fortunate. So we have to go down to the basement now, do we? Can I go out the patio doors? Nope. Not by the looks of it, I'll guess this is the basement right here. Or not. Oh. Ah. Okay, that's interesting. It's actually filled in a load of stuff here. Door was locked, but I don't remember locking it or even going into the basement recently. So I had to look for the key on the key holder near the front door. Well, at least it's telling me where I need to go. Okay, that's good. Something spooky waiting around here. Ah, it's there. No keys on the keychain. The front door was also locked. I was cold and tired. I went back to sleep. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, it's literally just a keychain with no holder. Okay. Sure. We'll go back to sleep. Why the hell not? Take this light with us and just ignore the ominous padlock door. Okie doke. Can I shut the door? Yes, I can. Sleepy times. For me. Don't know what to expect here. I don't really know what the game is about. It's kind of a psychological horror or whatever. Someone turned on the TV downstairs. Oh, Satan. What do you like? In the local news, another home has been broken into instantly. 
County. Now this is the first reported incident of this kind in the last month. The victim called the police after returning home and finding all of the doors open. Investigators say that nothing was missing, but according to the victim, certain items from the building were scattered around the house. In a statement from the local police department, police chief said, We believe these breakings are the work of the same person or group, as these crimes are highly unusual. Hmm. The presence oh, of in this house also leads us to believe that these cases might be connected to the disappearance of this and her newborn child earlier in the Oh. I can turn it off. Should I have done that? I don't actually know. Okay, so... Spate of possible robberies in the local area. Don't have my flashlight anymore. So what happened? I went to sleep and then now I'm down here? Or am I a separate character? That's the question. Am I someone else entirely? Feels like the answer could be maybe I am different. A different person. Oh look, you've got a picture of the padlock door. Of course you do. Why would that be? Why would you want a picture of a padlock door? Hat stand? Still there. Okay, let's just go back upstairs, I guess. It's lit up here now. Um, Where's that? Oh. Who's phoning me? Who's ringing? Oh, hello. I just got a key. Doesn't say what door that's for. Not that one. The phone rang off. Oh shit. Wait. Where was the phone? Oh crap, did I just do something wrong? Directions. Oh, there's my flashlight. Got that back. Thank you. No. Makes a loud bonking noise that does. Well, at least I got this. Oh, the phone was down here. Oh, what did I pick up there? Woke up to the sound of the TV static. I must have passed out on the couch again. As I got up to go to sleep in the guest room, a news report came up on the TV. When I got to the second floor and tried to open the guest room door, it was locked. I looked around and found the keys at the end of the second floor corridor on top of a chair. I unlocked the guest room and went back to sleep. Oh. I actually pressed E on that. Okay. No messages for me? I guess not. Anything in the bathroom? Kind of tense here. He didn't know what to expect. Are we just not going into the basement? No. We're going up to the guest room then. Okay. We can do that. That's fine. So who is Pharos? And when is his shadow going to appear? Huh. So guest room must be this one. No. I picked up the key. Wait, wait which door did you unlock? Was it not this one? Maybe just go back to sleep then. In my room. Something's going to start happening, I think. We've been through a couple of cycles. Ooh. Now, what's that noise? Oh, and my bed sheets have disappeared. Weird. Well, they've changed, rather. Mm, someone left the door open onto the patio. Oh, and oh, you've disappeared now, have you? Oh, great. You're going to be. Stalking me. The chair's gone from there. Things are changing. That's still locked. It's going to open at some point. Something horrible is going to be in there. Him telling you. Uh, that's now wonky. And oh, it's not down there. It's like a note slid under the door. How weird. Yeah, I wonder if this is a psychological horror then. I wonder if our character has mental health issues. Oh, oh am I going to have to find a number or something? Number for the telephone? Got your bidet and your toilet. Anything in the cupboard? No? Shower? Can't go in there. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, well, let's see what the deal is with the garden, shall we? Oh! Well, the friggin' basement's now open. Hold on. What's the deal here? So I woke up, I heard a loud sound come from downstairs. 
I left the guest room to find the living room door open. It was a very windy night, the glass door was shaking. After closing the door, I turned around, the basement door was open. Go to the basement, get the key in the storage room, open the bloody door. Well, we can do that. Okay. Get the key. Eee, this is never good. This is a long flight of stairs down to a basement. Oh, hey, you're down here now. There's a couple of you. One of you's dressed. The woman in the red. I'm sure that won't be bad, will it? Mm-hmm. Boiler? Nope. So where was the key? Oh. Ugh. What is this room? And why is it here? <laughs> Just a little room with a dog picture. And the welcome sign. I don't like it. It's pretty creepy. Nothing really has happened yet. And I'm feeling quite on edge. Okay. Oh, hi there. I saw that. Is it a demon lady? Is there a demon lady here? So, get the key in the storage room, open the bloody door. Oh, hi there. Not that one. What do we get? Come to the second floor. Sure. I'll come up to the second floor, why the hell not? Who's waiting? That one doesn't do anything. Are you in here? You are. Hello. Oh, look. There's a baby's cot. Of course there isn't. Why is that picture down? Oh. Oh. I thought it was going to show us something then. It was going to flip up and it would be a horrible demon face in the picture. Mobile? No. Okay. Tissues. Boxes. It's like a little Billy bookcase, that, isn't it? Is it three in the morning? Okay. Hello. What? I heard that. Someone just opened a door. Is it downstairs? Is someone going to leap out at me? Hello. Who was that? Aha! The bloody handprint door opened and... Oh. What? Model of a lighthouse? Okay. It's got another key. For something. For the room above. Maybe. It's the only other locked door. Hello. Oh, hey. You're over there now, are you? We're good to see that you put the lights on. That's nice of you. Oh, you're all here, are you? Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. You all want me to go through here, don't you? Oh. It's not doing anything. It's just silent. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, you're... Ev oh. Hi, you're actually moving. Okay. Am I meant to go down to you? Is that what I meant to do? You're probably going to jump scare me. Okay. Let's do it. I'll show you what the deal is over here. Oh, it went dark again. Are you still by that door? You're not. You've disappeared. Hey, how's it going? Here's all my friggin' roommates. Let's go here. Oh. Come on. What do you want me to do now, eh? Oh, hey, you're over there. Hey, how's it going? You gonna charge at me? You like the PT lady? I'll come and say hi. Why the hell not? How's it going? Oh, I can't control it. She's gonna scream at us. She's gonna jump scare us. Watch, watch. She move him. She coming towards us. Oh, yep, yeah, I thought so. She has a very big mouth. She has a case of uh, not having a face itis. Hello? What's going to happen next? Blackness? Oh. Oh. Police siren? Did we murder our wife? Oh. Whole place is empty now. Police? 
Yeah, we definitely murdered our wife, right? Oh, this room actually is now just a normal door. Weird. We're to police that. Ooh, what? This is not right. It was not like this. But it was all my fault. You are not me. You left the house through the basement window. Well, interesting. Anybody home? No, definitely not. I'm not here. I was never not what here. Don't you worry. Through the basement window, it said. Oh well. Police, open up. Yeah, they're trying to get in. Is that the basement window there? Something finally going to jump out at me and get me? Feel like it is, isn't it? I feel like they would hear that creaking and they would instantly know something is up. Uh oh. Into the creepy woods, why not? Oh, what? Okay, this has definitely got to be all in the character's head. We are in hell. That's what I'm uh, assuming is going on here, ladies and gentlemen. This is some kind of purgatory. We are in some kind of hellish state. Because we are guilty. At least that's how I'm interpreting it so far. I can move marginally faster. Oh, hello. Was oh, that the lighthouse? That we saw a model of? Weird. Hello. Keep going around. Mm. So what's the significance of the lighthouse then? Or maybe after escaping our house we came here. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, what just happened? Something leap out at me. It's midnight again. Am I still in purgatory? I still have this thing. Hello. Oh, the lock, lock door's back. Good to know. And you're back. Oh, very good. How very, very lovely. Mm. Trying to piece it together in my head. Figure out what the deal is. Anything else in over here? Just another key ring with no key on it. Phone? <laughs> Jab a load of friggin' numbers randomly. Hello? Who's this? Psycho crazy murderer tripping out balls. Who dis? Right, where are we going? Are we just still going for the basement, or are we going to the garden, or... Who knows? It's a weird design, though, actually, having, um... I don't know, your couch sort of, like, and TV just wedged into a corner like that. I feel like you could sort of lay the room out better. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Alright. What are we looking for here? I feel like we've missed something. Bathroom? Is there a demon in the bathroom? I see that window is actually partially open. Which is unsettling. Very unsettling. Has to be something I've missed here. And I must figure out what it is. More pills? Ah. He starts crying when you're not here, but then we start our little game. I take him to his crib and leave the room. The cries get quieter, as he knows what's coming. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all, does it? Guess we go up to the baby's room, then? El Babio. El Babino. Baby. I oh, know. Can't go in there. Okay. Oh, hang on, there's a note on the coffee table in front of the TV. Allow me to pick it up. So basically this is just becoming a series of note hunting tasks, in essence. Mm. Take a sip of tea. Show me what you got. Is that... Can, can I can I get that? Oh, is that not... I thought for sure that would be a note. I see the remotes now. Hidden under the couch. Weirdly. 
Right, so what am I doing from here? What's the deal? What do I need to do next? So I pick that up, take to his crib, leave the room. Hmm. Does it tell me I need to do something upstairs or or what? Hmm. There must be something I'm missing here. Am I speedy Gonzalez in my way past something? That is entirely possible. Maybe I just go back in here. Oh, yeah, okay. I just go back to sleep. After finding that note. Oh. Okay. I'll just turn that off. Oh, I just got something from under the couch. I've been watching our recordings every night until I fall asleep. A few days ago I couldn't, uh, couldn't find the remote, so I just sat here and cried. Okay. You're being a bit weird there, aren't you? Right, I don't have a torch anymore. Which is alarming. So, I guess we will just head back upstairs. I feel like something's eventually going to be in the fucking bathroom. Because nothing's really happened with that yet, other than just getting batteries. So that's going to be a bit unsettling, I do think. Alright, back upstairs. At least this is lit up here. How long do you think that'll last? Oh, telephone. There. Uh, got the single floor, tried to open the guest room door, it's locked. Looked around for the keys, it's in the single floor, on top of a chair. Here, hold on. Give it. Hello, who am I speaking with? Hello, can you answer me? I know you're there. No, not you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the one behind you. No. <laughs> you better keep your eyes on the screen. You're okay. Let me just read this. Oh, to sound the TV static, must have passed out on the couch again. Uh, news report came on TV. Alright, this is actually getting me to repeat all those stuff again. Oh, that was a very effective way of getting me to look behind myself. Uh, I'm, I'm off upstairs. I'm off upstairs, thank you. I'm going to go get the freaking key for the guest room. Should be over here? Yes, this is repeating. Oh, God. Why did it go dark? How did the lights go out? Do you have something to do with that? Hmm? Just, just, just go to bed. Go to bed. It's fine. If you hear the phone ring, race downstairs. Oh. Okay, the uh, door sounds like it's open again. Yes, it is. Hmm. Let's find our way down. Is there a loop here? Are we just looping? And do we have to find a way to break the loop? I wonder if that's the answer here, potentially. What if I just leave? What happens if I leave that open? Maybe that's the answer here. Don't do certain things that you're being told to do. Or do things differently. Is that how one breaks the cycle, perhaps? Can I just go out here? No, I can't. <laughs> Not yet. I can go in here to the creepy dog room. Get that. So... Now what? there again. Good to know. Door's open. So I'm going to leave it. Come to the second floor. That's what it's telling me. Okay. Ain't really doing anything. 
come in here. Can I look at this now? No. That ain't gonna happen. Oh, machine in there. I hope Max is doing well. Everything's so quiet around here nowadays. I remember the time he knocked over one of the metal shelves. He was so scared that he never went to the basement again. Yeah, there are things that are different. What if I just ignore that? Can I go to bed? No, I can't. I have to go downstairs. Sort it out. That should be the room with the model of the lighthouse in it, right? Over here. Seriously, I can just leave that open. Keys. Right. So I pick these bad boys up, but then what? Can't do anything there. Letter still under the door. Maybe... Oh, she's there now. I can't interact with that. Weird. What if I just go to bed? Can I just go to bed? No, I can't. You're going to spawn behind me. There we go. <laughs> you all just appeared. <laughs> of course you did. Can't go through there. Can't go through there. You're down there again. What do I do? I pick up these keys, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. That's the issue. You're still down there at the moment, but what if I just go here? Can I leave? Oh, was that a fail state? Oh, have I looped again? Oh, no, I've got my torch. Oh. What? I feel like there's a solution here that I'm supposed to find. But I'm not finding it. Hold on. Hold your horses. Right, where would note number one be? It's there. He starts crying when you're not here, but then we start our little game. Take it to his crib and leave the room. Okay. So we just go to bed now? So it's reset us to this point. Interestingly. I wonder why that is. Go to bed. Right, so we get into the next phase. I'm missing. Turn that off straight away. Look around for notes. Any on the countertop? No. So you can hear little noises of things happening in the background. So this is all lit up here. Oh, phone. Go, 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 go. Mm. This is different. So much. He's going to cry into that phone. Sound like you're turning more demonic. Okay, there it goes. So what do we find? Uh single little tried to open the guest room is locked. Okay, unlocked the guest room, went back to sleep. So I guess you have to get jump scared by the lady at some point. So get the key here, go back to sleep. That happens while well, the light goes out. Strange having locks on the outside of your bedroom doors, isn't it? If I can get that again. Back to sleep. 
So things are changing. That's the key thing here. Things are turning out differently. Right, so it's this one. This one where I have to close the garden door. And then go down to the basement. Okay. Shut that. Head down here. Go to creepy dog picture room. Get the key. Go back out. Go back upstairs. And do whatever it is we need to do. See spooky lady watching us from the living room. That's fine. I'm not going to say anything about that. Yeah, come to the second floor. It's this again. Oh, that was different. There's a chair in here now. Still not showing us that though, is it? We get this thing. Oh, something change again. Hmm. Remember the time he knocked over one of the metal shells? He's so scared that he never went to the basement again. Do we go down to the basement? Possibly. So we go in here now. And we get these keys from the lighthouse model. But what about the basement? He knocked over one of the metal shelves. One of these in here. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything actually in here to do? Ooh, that feels like a weird freezer. Holding a body or something. So I've got special keys, but now what? So what's to do with the lighthouse? Is there something we have to do while we're over there? I'm not altogether certain. Um, right, now it's this. But you're not downstairs just yet. Okay, they're all here. You're now down there. Do I go to you? Because I can't really do anything else, can I? At this point. Can't interact with any of the doors or anything. Oh, well, we'll go and say hi to your old spooky zombie lady. Hey, baby. Oh, I can actually go up to you this time. How's it going? You doing alright? Oh! Come for you. Oh, God. I can't control it. This is definitely different. Oh, hey! You just ate me with your void face again. But what does that mean? What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? Are we going back to the lighthouse? Oh, no, it's this now. Can we respond to the police? Is that something we can do? We're going to knock on the door. Circle around the back. Is that what he said? Oh. Anybody home? Can I interact? Hello? You gonna knock again? Well, I can't knock on the door. Go in. Open up. I'm sure he said someone was circling around the back. Maybe another officer. Maybe we just... 
you know, I don't think the police would keep knocking. Eventually, they would uh, <laughs> start finding out and looking for alternate routes. Oh, no, in the case. Open the goddamn door! You're more insistent than last time. Hmm? Are they smashing the door open? I think he's just going to keep banging at it. So I go out through the basement, okay. It's going to take me back to here, isn't it? Yes. Of course it is. Okay. So do we just keep pushing forward towards the lighthouse then? Maybe each time we get there, something different will happen. I think. I'm hoping, anyway. So I can't I can't tell last time I was here, but I can go up to the gates of the lighthouse compound. It gave like a screen tear thing. I can't tell if that's a fail state or if that's actually meant to happen. I don't know. Maybe it's meant to happen. Maybe I was making progress. Because I don't feel like there's anywhere else you can go here. Other than just towards the gates. Which are shut. But, what can one do? Oh, wait a minute. Is there a path down the side? Oh, no, there isn't. Thought for a second there would be. That's unfortunate. Is there a path down the other side? Let me see. Let me have a little look. Oh, no, there's an invisible wall. So the only place I can go is the gates. Yeah, that just... <laughs> Alright, back in. Right, I had to look at a uh, walkthrough. So apparently there is a true ending to this, but in order to get it, basically there's a step we have to take, which I would... I, I have no idea how I was supposed to figure this out. Was there a clue somewhere? Hold on, let me just show you what it is. So, there should be a picture... Oh, it's this one. I think it's this... Yeah, this picture of this. At some point this will get crooked. And you have to do something to write it or something. But apparently there's a code for it. But, problem is, the code is ridiculous. It's like a series of pressing a number of keys on your keyboard. And I'm looking at this code and thinking, how was I supposed to figure this out? I've literally no idea. Okay, will it be on this loop when it happens? Not entirely sure. Then we come here to this particular loop. Okay, now it's, that's now wonky. So if I look at it, it should be up, left, up, right, uh, up, right, right, down, right, up. Wait, I didn't do fucking shit. What? Up, left, up, right, up, right, right, down, right. Up. That is not fucking doing anything. Wait, what? I could have sworn it said there was a code and you have to... What? Or maybe I have to do whatever the fuck I'm supposed to do in here first. Maybe I have to do it at a certain point? Well, regardless, I don't know. The video walkthrough I saw said that there was a code and you do something with that picture. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be a bit weird. So, what? Alright, so the phone activates. <laughs> I can barely see. So can I activate it now? Or is it only at a certain point? Left, up, right, up. Right, right, down, right, up. Oh! Okay, there we are. What the? Uh, that's glitched through the wall. Bloody hell, because there's a fucking secret room behind it. Oh my god. Okay, you're here. Oh. Wedding ring? Okay. Uh, what do I do here then? Do I just leave? Alright, back in. Okay, right, I looked at the walkthrough. There's several steps here we have to take. And some of these, in theory, you could work out yourself. 
but I'll be, I'll be honest with you, it's, it's that first one with the key, uh, the arrow keys on that picture, the code you have to input that stumps me, just in terms of how the heck you're supposed to work that out. But let's do this, right? So um, it should be, I'm assuming this is back, isn't it, to our first loop. So that's okay there. Now we just have to, so we're going to have to make several loops basically here. Okay, that. That's obviously that one. So, head on up this way, back towards our bed. So you'll notice actually, oh yeah, one of the padlocks has gone off there. Presumably because I picked up the ring, I would imagine. So maybe that step's done and we don't really need to worry about it. All right, well, let's go to bed, sleep. Um, so the next step we have to do is the one where we have to go down to the basement with the dog picture. There's something that you have to do in there. So we'll do that, don't you worry. Okay, this is now one key up here. Do I have to get the ring again? Not entirely sure. If it rings, the phone, that is. Yes. We'll do that. It seems to be that triggering the phone enabled us to activate the picture. Okay, so do this. So it's... Up, left, up, right, up, right, right, down, right, up. So that goes down. You can then go through into here. Ah, but the ring's taken, so we didn't easily need to do this step again. That's fine. It's fine. So she's crying on the phone. Just ignore her. So now we have to go back up here. Keep the loop going, basically. You're there. Key is here. Get that. Go oh, back into the guest room. Like so. Torch. Back to bed. So it should be the next loop. So this one should be the one where we have to go into the basement. Yes. Which we'll do. So basically, you know that room with the dog picture off the basement? That's where we need to go, ladies and gents because there's something you can actually do in there. Right, so, shut, get that. Got it. Let's keep on going down here. So, just ignore these for now. You'll notice there's an object on there. Basically, that's the object we have to get, but to do so... Now, this is one of those things, again, I'd be amazed to see how people figure this out, but... You press E on the picture, you hear a dog. And now you literally just have to wait. And we're listening for the sound of a shell falling over. Now, I don't know how long you have to wait here. Could be just a short amount of time. It could be a very, very long time. But basically, don't go out the room, I'm guessing, until you... There it is. So that should be a shell falling over, right? Aha! Yes, it is. So... Pick up that, which I'm guessing is like a dog toy or something. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Kitty. Can't do anything with you. So. So now we just have to keep looping. So basically we have to go through the lighthouse loop again. Alright. So. Back in here. Turn that off. Okay, now. We're on a new loop. So. Yeah, getting that dog toy. Two of the padlocks are now removed, so we just need to remove the third one. So, I think what we have to do now is we go down here. We go to the kitchen, where there should be a piece of paper. So yeah, this is a very long-winded process to get the true ending, apparently. So you get that, but now you go to the bathroom, ladies and gents. And... Aha! Uh, there we go. Got that. He starts crying when you're not here. But then we start a little game. Tings his crib and leave the room. The cries get quieter as he knows what's coming. I come back with his favourite toy, and as I get closer, he's just silent, looking at me and smiling. I give him the toy, and he shakes it, looks at me, and laughs. So. What I think... should happen now, according to the, the details I've got, is I have to wait here until I hear the lights come on.
Right, I'll notice I'm back here. I'm pretty sure I fucked that up with the bathroom because I looked at the uh, at a walkthrough and basically as soon as you go in that bathroom you have to close the door. So yeah, I think I screwed myself up. But on top of that, apparently you have to wait for anywhere in the region of about two minutes, which may not sound much, but standing in one place for 120 seconds, probably longer than, you know, you'd think. Or at least it feels like <laughs> Right, so I have to reset the damn loop. So here we go. Let's get a move on. So we grab the paper from downstairs. At least it's saving our padlocks. So go get the paper from the kitchen. Then go and get into the bathroom. Shut the door first and foremost before and anything else. So that way you can't friggin' screw it up. Alright, shut that. Turn that off. Paper. Right. Okay, that's scribbled on there. So now we just wait, ladies and gentlemen, and we could be waiting anywhere up to two minutes here. So I'm going to jump cut once again. Oh my god. Good lord, how long was I sat there for? That felt like way more than two minutes. Was that the lights coming on that we just heard then? Oh, it was. God, that's so long-winded, though, making you have to stand there for God knows how long for that to happen. Right, so, wait until the light comes on. Now go and turn on the TV, apparently. That's what we have to do. Remote. Aha! It's more like it. at all. Oh, okay, it goes off on its own. So now we just go and sleep again. So now we have to keep doing the loops until we get the one with the key on the chair on the second floor. So, yeah, we have to go, aha! See? All the padlocks are gone. So we have to just keep doing the loop until eventually we get the keys from the room with the lighthouse model. And then something will change. Right, this one. Turn that off. So we don't need that buzzing away in the background. So if we go on up here, I'm telling you though, if I screw up the freaking um, loop here, and I have to loop again back through everything, I will not be happy. Um, yeah, so we go and get this key. I'm going to ignore that phone, because I don't think we need to answer it. I'm just going to go back in here, go to sleep. Like so. So now it should be the loop with the open patio door, right? So this is the loop, yeah, where we should eventually get the keys from the room with the lighthouse model. So we're very close, ladies and gentlemen, to getting the proper true ending. So, pick that up, close that, down as usual. God, having to stand in that bathroom for so long is just ridiculous. I feel like they could really shorten that and it wouldn't lose any quality. Don't get me wrong, this game's got atmosphere and it has had some tense moments, but I just feel like for this true ending, some of the stuff you need to do could be sped up a bit, so that it's not so long-winded. Right, that's like that. Got the key. That's fine. Head on up. Um, go to spooky door upstairs. Ah, there we go. Yeah, opens this. Yeah, that. Yep, she opens the thing down there. Okay, now we can get it, and now we should be able to get our special ending, ladies and gentlemen. The ending that we want, now that the padlocks have all been removed from the spooky door. Grab those. Get on up. And we'll finally get to a point where we're actually advancing properly. Okay, here we go. We want thunder and light as well. Yeah. Well, this doesn't look good, does it now? 
Uh, oh, go this way. I guess so. Oh, hello. <laughs> Another mannequin laid out as if to be dissected. Oh, extra keys. What do we do with those things then? Is there anything on here? No. Okay. So now that I've picked those up, what do I do with them? Where do they go? Oh, shoot. I thought there'd be something more in here. Maybe an ending cutscene or something, but... Alright, well, let me just check. Let me just jump up once more and check the walkthrough to make absolutely sure that I'm not about to fuck this up. One second all. Alright, I've just checked. Keys go to the front door. I was just worried there. I know I probably could have figured that out myself, but... Ooh. Ah. Is this our home? It's a very modern looking house, isn't it? Okay. We just... Are we just getting in our car? Our little station wagon? Yes, we are. Okay, so what does this mean? Oh. Oh, we're here now. Something going to be different? Well, there's a table for a start. Is that like a Walkman? Oh! Reaching for the light, thank you for playing! Oh! Have we done it? We got music? Okay! Something going to happen though? if we go towards the lighthouse. Oh. Oh no, Pat's not locked. I hope this isn't copyright music. I mean, even if it is, it probably won't matter. My videos aren't monetized anyway. I was expecting this. Let me just gulp some tea down. See, I'm kind of afraid to click E on the gates here, in case it resets everything. But I feel like this is it. This is the end of the game, right? Because we've got an achievement that says thanks for playing. So I'm guessing there isn't much more. still blocked off over here. So who's this artist? And why this particular song? <laughs> what if we go exploring up over here for the moment? I doubt anything will have changed, but you never know. Anything different over here? He thinks the answer is probably not, but who knows. Oh. I can hear the sound of waves crashing on the beach now. Is there no lock thing here now? I guess not. Or is it round here? No, it's not round here. That just goes up to nowhere up there. Anything down here? Or is this still blocked? Still blocked. I wonder why this is here. Doesn't feel like it serves any real purpose. Okay, so maybe the gate is the only place we can go then. Maybe we just reset the loop and that's it. Maybe our character's in a kind of purgatory. Who knows? Hmm. Well, let's go and see what happens. Or do we let this music play out first? Unless it constantly loops, who knows? Because it's going to be quite a big video, this, though. Once I've edited it all together, and, you know, no doubt. Do 
I do it? Should I press E? Or should I just let the music keep on going for the moment? Okay, it sounds like it's coming to an end. So do I... Do I press E? Do I press E on the gates now? Even though it may actually just loop again. Oh no. Oh, we're in now. Okay. It has changed. So hang on, there's the gate over there. But that's not open. Hold on. So... That's locked. Hmm. Am I going up the lighthouse? Yes, I am. Okay. We ascend then, in that case. I was wondering to see if we go out through the side gate and maybe down. Down towards the other side of the compound, but maybe not. Maybe that's not the thing you do in this. Aha! It's a thermos. The first time around I was there. The second time it was you. The first day nothing of note happened. The second day you played me a catchy tune next to a lonely tree. The third day you knocked on their door 66 times and they let you inside. The fourth day you listened to me atop the lighthouse. Thank you for playing our game. If you enjoyed it, consider wishlisting the full version on Steam. It's called Pharos. It comes out later this year. This message will be saved in a text file in the game's save directory. It might be useful in the future. To finish the game, leave through the door. Okay, I didn't realise this was supposed to be a teaser for a bigger game. Well, let's go through the... Alright, yes, they weren't kidding when they said that would end the game. As suspected, because there was no main menu, the game just quit straight out. So you'll have seen an abrupt jump cut there. Right, well, that was Shadow of Pharos, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, I guess that was a teaser for an upcoming full game, just called Pharos. Unless that's already been released, and I have no idea. I'll have to check it on Steam. So if you're interested in that, you can obviously go and have a look and maybe wishlist it, if it looks like something that you might enjoy. So, yeah, that was an interesting little teaser. Um, definitely had creepy atmosphere, like I say, but obviously getting the ending was a bit long-winded. But I have a feeling that this is a game that's trying to recreate the likes of PT, perhaps, in a slightly more pixelated form, or whatever. And you know what? I'll give the uh, devs credit, you know? It had its moments. So, yeah. Take your heart from that, devs. Alright, come on, time to wrap up, though. Social media links, propaganda channel link, all down in the video description if you're interested. If you enjoyed, a like is, of course, always appreciated. But other than that, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. This is weird furniture around here. Oh, that was freaky. I got a bit worried then. I was like, oh, God, what have I found? I guess zoom in, though. I've got to remember that. Zoom in like that. See that furniture. There's a door there. A lamp. There's weird alcoves up on the sides. Stuff in there. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, well, it goes up from there. Okay. This is so weird. So, I'll have to watch the um, pool rooms video at some point because, like I say, that's one that I've not, I've not seen. But. I'm sure it's quite interesting. Let's go around here. It does. Okay, okay.